What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first React tutorial. Now, question number one, what the heck is React? React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces, specifically single page applications. Now, what I was gonna do is I was gonna kind of tell you guys the history about React and go into a bunch of details, show you guys a bunch of demos, but then I was like, let's just go ahead and instead of looking at demos, let's just get our hands dirty and start making them. So what do we need to get started with React? Well, the very first and probably most important thing we need is the React library. So this is the code for the library, and this is actually made by Facebook. So if you ever go to this website and you're like, facebook.github, what the heck? This entire library was created by Facebook, so that's some background information. But essentially, we need these two files, react.js and react.dom.js. Now we have a couple options of how we can include these into our HTML. What we can do is we can just go ahead and copy this and then plop them right in here, just like you include any CSS or JavaScript file. Or what you can do is you can actually download these and have them stored on your own machine. Now the benefit of kind of just including them from here is you don't have a bunch of files on your own computer. Now the benefit of having them on your computer is of course, what happens whenever your internet goes out and you suddenly become in the mood to write React? Well, you can't because you're not connected and you can't get these files anymore. So if you guys want to kind of do it this way, then feel free. But my setup and what I did is I actually have them downloaded on my own system. And just to make it easier for you guys, if you go to this URL right here, and this is just my GitHub page, um, I already downloaded all the files as well as some additional ones that we're going to need. So I'll show you guys what to do. If you just go here, clone or download and hit download zip, then it's going to give you all the files. And once you extract it, it's going to give you this right here, all of these juicy files. So from there, what I did is I went in demos. I made a new directory called simple demo and I made a really basic HTML file. And as you can see, I already included all the JavaScript we need, which is right in here. So you guys are looking at this and you're like, all right, so you said that we need the React, React DOM, JS, but what the heck is this file? You told me that we only needed these two JavaScript files, so what is this third one? Are you lying to me, Bucky? Well, believe it or not, whenever we write React, even though that this is a JavaScript library, we're not gonna be writing plain old JavaScript. We're gonna be using a flavor of JavaScript called JSX. So why are we doing this instead of writing plain old JavaScript? Well, even though your browser needs plain old JavaScript, whenever we write JSX, we have some really cool features. For example, we can basically write this code that looks exactly like HTML. And if you guys ever try to do this with plain old JavaScript, it's a pain in the butt. So whenever we write JSX, it's just really intuitive and easy to understand and learn um, React. However, like I said, Whenever you run this in a browser, your browser cannot understand JSX. It can only understand JavaScript. So what we need to do before we actually run it is we need a tool to convert it to plain old JavaScript. So again, this is what we're gonna be writing on the left called JSX. And after we run our translator, it's actually called a transpiler, um, it converts it to plain old JavaScript. And you can just use a tool like this one online to do it all for you or you can just go ahead and include this link right here, which basically takes care of all of that behind the scenes. So we can write JSX right in here, run it, and it's gonna be beautiful. Our, our browser is gonna understand it. We're gonna be able to write JSX, it's gonna be awesome. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started.